Hello everyone, Silverstruck here. Welcome to the Silverstruck channel. Well, I have some bars to add into the guardhouse box. I'm still working on this uh, 50 count. It's uh, kind of slow going. I haven't been able to add too many bars uh, to this uh, guardhouse box that I'm working on. I do also have a couple bars to add into the Silver Ingot Collection album. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I have a few different uh, spots to fill in there since I've been shifting the collection around, doing some trades, and so on and so forth. I would like to say that I've seen a lot of guardhouse box videos out there and a lot of really good progress. There are um, collectors that are on their second, third, even fourth boxes. I get emails all the time, get a lot of comments in the comment section. So everyone's having a lot of fun with this and I'm super, I'm super happy with all of that. So without further delay, let's get into uh, the three bars we're going to be adding in this video. And the first one is a bar that I had shared a number of videos back, but I haven't officially added it into the guardhouse box. So we're going to do that right now. And here we have the Alaskan Pipeline, January 1974. It says, Toward Self-Sufficiency by 1980. Well, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. We all, we all know it's 2024. Maybe they meant self-sufficiency by 2080. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they, uh, what they thought on that one. But uh, right here to the bottom left, it's CNR Silver. You can see the state of Alaska in the, in the background with some uh, a ship there and a, a drill rig and all that kind of good stuff. And we flip it over. And this one is made by United States Silver Corporation, which is a um, refiner I've been more and more into. You can see here, this one has a serial number down towards the bottom. Of course, this bar is a one troy ounce, three nines fine bar. So this one has a lot to love with it. Uh, it's a neat topic. And then on top of that, we have uh, dates on the bar along with a serial number. So a bar like this is a big winner. I like to have dates and serial numbers hard to get on uh, a bar. You usually get one or the other, sometimes none. So here we have the 16th bar in. I had 15 bars uh, collected in here. It's bar number 16. The next bar I have to share with all of you is a LCS find. And this one was a really neat one. So this is a new bar that I haven't shown. Here we have Martha Washington, 1975. And there she is with Mount Vernon there in the background. So if there's uh, Martha, there must be a George bar somewhere. So I'll be looking out for that one. And as we flip this one over, you can see it is the United States Silver Corporation once again. One troy ounce, three nines fine. No serial number, which is totally fine. A lot of the, uh, the um, bars that were made by this refiner didn't uh, feature a serial number. Uh, but the date is nice. So this is a great bar to add in as bar number 17 into the guardhouse box. The next bar is one that I also had shared a number of videos back, but have not added it officially into the guardhouse box. This one is a uh, really, really neat one. This is a Refinement International Company bar uh, with serial number. You can see it says RMI over there to the left, uh, left in the field right there. And we flip it over. And it is a, we're going to refer to that as a frosted back. Kind of a neat little weave pattern, really. So refinement is one of those uh, bars that's really hard to research. Not too much on mintages or any real information on them. But it's a bar that I really like to hunt down. So I got this one in trade. And I uh, hadn't had this particular type of example. But I had other types of refinement bars. So as bar number 18 is the refinement bar. Add that right into the guardhouse box. So a little bit of progress at least, and I'll be looking forward to uh, going out and hunting down some more of these uh, one-ounce bars for the guardhouse. But for now, let's uh, check out this Silver Ingot Collection album and uh, see if we can add a couple more ounces of silver to that. When I first started this Silver Ingot Collection album, it was to collect any type of landscape variety bar because basically this album only really features landscape varieties uh, nice, nicely. And if you have a, a vertical bar, uh, obviously it's, uh, it's in there sideways. So uh, rather have landscape varieties for this particular album. But as my collections shifted around, I'm now using this book mostly for bars that won't fit into capsules. And there's a couple other channels doing the same thing. Um, Coincidence and Nonsense comes to mind. He also uses uh, the mix of the album in the guardhouse boxes. 
And he also likes Great Lakes Mint. And so that's what we have to add into this album right here. We're going to start with a bar that's a uh, vertical or a portrait variety. So obviously here we have it in landscape, so we're going to have to flip it this way. You can see this is Happy New Year 1974. And uh, you can see a pretty risque lady in there in her martini glass. So we flip it over to the next side here. We can see it flips to a landscape variety, Great Lakes Mint, one ounce, three nines fine silver. So uh, pretty neat bar, not entirely uh, thrilled that it's uh, going to be sideways. So I'm going to actually flip it to the Great Lakes uh, side of the bar and go ahead and put that right in here. They just uh, don't fit, barely don't fit into the guardhouse box capsules. So, um, in the album they go. The next bar is a landscape variety. Happy Thanksgiving 1973. Of course we're in October now so Thanksgiving's coming up pretty quick. Check out the mirrored fields on this bar. Almost proof like in there. So we flip the bar over. You can see it's indeed Great Lakes Mint. One troy ounce, three nines fine silver. So we're gonna put that one. You know what? I'm just gonna put it this way as well. So we have a couple of Great Lakes Mint Bars, and in the album they go. I was kind of surprised to find some Great Lakes Mint Bars at uh, the LCS recently, because typically you just don't find them there. So have a few more spots to fill. I'd, like I said, given a, a bar up here in trade, and I have some um, you know, see it's Silver Quart Bars here that I'm going to eventually trade out of the album as uh, this album grows with bars that don't fit in capsules. So there you have it. Are you collecting one ounce art bars, vintage ones, modern ones? Let me know in the comments section. And as always, thank you so much for watching.